Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we're still continuing to build the biggest, the best transportation company in the whole of the United Kingdom. Now in today's episode, we have got some really, really exciting stuff that we're going to be doing. We're now witnessing the brand new cargo ship that we set up in the last episode, which is transporting the steel and plastics from our big kind of harbour over here, which we have the plastics coming into there, still here being produced, placed on the on the dock, and transported over to Cansbury right now, where we can be turned into factory goods, or the goods factory turning to normal goods. I don't know why I said goods factory, I don't know. But we can now eventually ship that to one of the many, many cities that do require it. Now, I'm not technically going to ship it just yet because there's a few things I want to get up and running and want to do before we start implementing runs to cities because it's really going to affect how I've done my public transport once I start adding cargo trains to them. It's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting. Now what I want to do today is kind of a little bit left field but it will all tie itself together. Now one of the big cities that does require these goods uh, is actually all the way up here Liverpool now that I feel like is a good distance to travel up here to drop the goods off will make some serious cash but what that will do to Liverpool is even though it's already quite a big city it will make it go kind of gone like in a slight crazy expansion and there's a few things I want to do to Liverpool before I let it go crazy with expansion even though it's already absolutely massive right now even though it's absolutely mahosive. Um, I still need to kind of do a few little things before I let it go absolutely crazy. Now, one of those things is I want to use Liverpool as a hub for the ships going to Ireland. You see where this is going? But to be able to do that, I also want to hook up the um, kind of harbours for the boats to the train lines. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, how are you going to do that, Sonia? That sounds a little bit crazy, right? Uh, yes, I kind of have to now extend the Manchester route here over to where we'll have a harbour. But I also want to sort out where this train line's going to run through. So we're going to have to do a lot of deletings and also then figure out where we can run the cargo into it for the goods. So if you are enjoying this series, smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. So... We are going to slightly destroy the city, but it's going to be for a good cause, okay? It's going to be for a good cause. Now, we're going to have this train line kind of come down, so we'll technically have two stops on this line here. One there, and then the last stop will terminate and end at where the, the, kind of the passenger harbour will be. And I'm going to do two stops as well for this line coming in. So one there for Central, one for North Liverpool, if that's where you kind of look at it, because... It's going to be a big city, just like Birmingham, where we've got two stops. You could also argue to add additional ones in at the bottom and top. I know they're quite close together, but it really gives us a wider radius in terms of how many passengers we can collect. So let's figure this out then. Let's figure this out. So if I... That is elevated already, so that's perfect. We'll have to kind of slightly adjust the, the end building there because it's no longer going to be an end building. And uh, we're going to bring it into here. So we need to get an elevated platform now. So, elevated passenger platform. Where is it? Elevated one. There we go. There we go. So, we're we going to do it at a... Right, we want two tracks because it is going it is going to be the end. All right, spin that right round. And do we add in pillars? I could do spaced pillars, which will be kind of handy. And I've also got to try and situate it in a good location to where I can get the buildings to touch the road which i reckon somewhere about here will be okay right he's done it i've placed it down there's no going back unless i need to delete it but at the minute there's no going back so this will cross a bus stop the train station and the passenger harbor all at the same time worst case scenario as well we can also bring cargo in here if i implement i don't know a cargo harbor um a cargo train station up there but i don't think i will but you never know Crazier things have happened, boys. Crazier things have happened. So I can do the elevator shafts right now, which work out fairly well for us. So I'll implement... I've got to do... Okay, one there. I can't do one there, so I'll do this one. So I'm trying to give them as many options to enter and exit the train station as possible. 
it just makes life a lot easier. I think we'll go for that, and that would be just enough. So it's on pillars, spaced out. Can we see them? Not, re not really. But we're now holding it up with elevators. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does look pretty good. So I've got to get these two now connected. Yes, they're quite close together in such a short distance. But it gives us a wider radius of how we can kind of collect and pick people up. So now I'm just hoping that we don't have any... Oh, hang on. I've got to sort this one out. I'm just now hoping that we don't have any issues with the train line. We know we're going to have issues. Right, if I delete that building... And then I go to these so I can have, which is the best one to put down. What I'll actually do is elevate platforms. We'll extend it by one more on both sides. Get the tracks. Bam. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, is there a bus stop underneath? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Building-wise... I'm trying to see what the best option would be. We're going to throw that down there. Just for the connections. It's not perfect, this area. It's not perfect by a long shot. But we got to do what we've got to do, boys. we got to do what we've got to do. So bringing that out. And then we need to bring this and bend into it. So from the get-go, that actually works out pretty well. It does dip down slightly. But it's not an anything too crazy that will stress us out. There we go. We'll do the old crisscross, because you never know how many trains we're going to get over here. Apple sauce. And squeeze me. There we go. And then we've got to do the same here as well. Now, it's a little bit different now, because I would have normally done a bypassing route, because of what this is. But for now, we'll just have to keep it like this. So I don't have to do too much configurations. It will still work. It just means if there's multiple trains here, they'll have to kind of wait for one another. I know, bit of a pain, right? Bit of a pain. So let's get the actual train line in this then, which is the Liverpool to Scarborough route. And we manage the line. And we go from Liverpool East to Manchester to Leeds Branch to Scarborough to Man uh, Leeds Branch to Manchester again. So from this point, we then go back to here... But then we add a stop there. And by doing that then, it gives us the ability to switch over. So I think I need, I need to kind of switch these like to there. So you're using both sides. And then that one's a single line. There we go. That does exactly what I need it to do. Beautiful. And it now accesses the water area to where I can put down a passenger harbour. So we're crisscrossing two... Actually, there's two bus stops here we're crisscrossing. And I'm going to put down the uh, the shipping harbour right now. So boats, boats, boats. It's a passenger harbour, baby. It's a passenger harbour. And we'll have to do some terraforming real quick just to kind of dig into it. So if I flatten... Right, we have to delete this building, unfortunately. And if I carve just into there... Let me uh, increase this brush size. Carving just into there... That should give us plenty of room right now for activities. Um, so about there is good. Does that even connect to the road? That, right, let me pause. This doesn't even connect to... The, I mean, all these buildings are going to be deleted anyway. So I might as well spend my millions on uh, buying out buildings. No, it does not connect. And I think the main reason is... The road is technically too high, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. The road is way too high. Maybe I maybe I do need to bring <laughs> the terrain out slightly. Right. Maybe I do need to bring the terrain out slightly so I can have a little bit of a slope. Let me see now. Because I can place this there and I can bring the road slightly down. Actually, we'll put it here. No, 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 no. Bring that out to there. We'll terraform it all up again anyway. Bring it just to there for a second. Right. We'll get the ship thingy in here. It's still within the same vicinity. Don't get me wrong. It's still within the same vicinity. 
We uh, smooth in the area now. To make it look like it actually all works. And we get the road. And the road there then connects. So then I connect you up. I connect you up. So we still get a little bit of space there to grow some stuff, some building wise. And I feel like I'm just going to quickly terrain the back end here and hook it up to that road. I like how it puts the bricks in as well. Well, it looks like bricks anyway. It looks like bricks. So, uh, road, sorry. Bringing this down to here. And then what we'll do, we'll lead this across. And then we'll just simply bend this in. So, we've gained a little bit of space. So, we'll get more buildings than what we originally had. So, what we originally destroyed, we'll gain back. Smoothing the edge enough there, we'll use the road as the key wall in that regard. Uh, to this area. And then, this harbour here has a beautiful radius. But the most important one is, it links to the two bus stops. So, anybody who's on a bus route can they get here. And most importantly, it links to the train station. That's the important part. So, let's now configure this. <clears throat> Because we need to make it a little bit bigger to handle bigger boats. So, we'll throw in... Oh, is that the best way to do it? Should we do the smaller ones here instead? If I go along here with the small ones... And then we come off with the big boys... That gives us a larger playing field right now to build stuff in. Now, in terms of actual buildings themselves, I could... I mean, I, I say I could. I've got no space to put them in. No. No, we're not going to beat around the bush. We'll keep it like that. And that is a beautiful little harbour right there. Nice! Now, if we ever need to add cargo to it, we can switch it all out. It's not a problem. I need to add a cargo building in. Oh, I've got to put down the landings. Let's not forget the landings, boys. So, we've got multiple landings right now for multiple destinations... Uh, for the passenger ships. So, I think, just for now, we'll hook it up to Dublin. We'll utilise Dublin as being the stop. The first one. But we'll take it to many places. I'll probably take it to a couple of cities um, around Ireland. We'll do maybe one going up to Scotland somewhere. We'll bring one down into, like, Wales or down to, like, uh, the southern part of England. Just to give us alternative routes. You know what I mean? But for now... We'll keep it like that. So in Dublin. Now Dublin will all start to expand when I kind of hook it all up. And Dublin is also linked to Mullingar. To Kilkenny. To Castlebar. And also down to Waterford as well. So it's, it's hooked up to quite a few cities. So we should see a lot of vehicles making their way to Dublin. As we get it in. So technically. I'm now expanding the company outside of the United Kingdom. And for those who don't know, this is mainland Ireland. Northern Ireland is a part of the UK. Just just making sure, guys. Just just making sure we all got it right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, enough of a history lesson. Um, but at the same time, I can see myself running trains along here, which would look so good. So I might need to position my... No, actually I won't. Because what I can do is do elevated train stations. So I'm not I'm not needing to place in the train stations as of right now. Now I might have done the same problem there with the fact that these are gonna dip down, but let me see if I can get the harbour in. So spin it right round. Okay, so we'll place this just here. And we'll lead this road into it. Now, as of right now, the road would make no sense in regards to the destination that they can kind of go to. So I'm going to do that. I know it's quite short, but that's where my train line can almost run through. I might actually delete this and then just set it back slightly. So if I pull it here. I pull it there. And bring that down that way. And this is where my train station is going to run through. So... We've got the positioning for it. So this doesn't really reach much of a radius. So it's not really going to do anything for us at the moment. But it eventually will when I do start the Irish expansions. So, a bit of the same again because this will be like one of the main hubs as well for Ireland. So I'm going to replicate the harbour that I've just 
built uh, in Liverpool. And that will be the kind of uh, how we do it. You know what I mean? Now, I'll get a cargo building down as well, there and there, just to kind of bulk this up to make it look like it's bigger than what it actually is. And then get the landings down. And there we go. Look at that for a harbour, boys. Pretty decent, right? Pretty decent. So we'll get a, bo um, a boat set up then, the passenger boat. This we got going back and forth, and then uh, we're back in business. So go into play mode anyway. So the city can kind of get back to where it once was in Liverpool since I destroyed it. Did it destroy much? Let me check the, ch the charts. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. So it's only... It, they'll, they'll get back. There's no stress, boys. There's no stress. So a new line will go from the Dublin port to the Liverpool port. There we go. I'll change the colour to... Let's go for like a light blue so we can see it on the water. And we need to rename it as well. We call it our Liverpool to Dublin. There we go, boys. So I need to get a, uh, a shipping harbour down here. Which is a shipyard, I should say. And I'll actually pull it over here in Ireland. We'll pull it just over here. And I'll throw it in just on an angle there. Oh, you've got to dig slightly in, don't you? Or do I pull it in Liverpool? Do you know what? I'll pull it just over here. There's no stress on this side. Right, there we go. And then we're going to buy a passenger ship. So buy a new vehicle. Passenger based. Now we've got a couple of options. I think the ferry might be the best one. It does have a 100 capacity. This one has 150. But this is faster. And it has quicker loading speed as well. So we'll buy one for now. Because I don't know what to expect when it comes to the passenger demands. I honestly just don't know what to expect on it. So that will do what it's got to do. And now we have this beautiful connection all hooked up. There's actually people waiting at... Wait, well, there's a building <laughs> in the train station. Um, train's now coming in, by the way. It's got a, a fair few people on board. I wonder if they all unload here or if this is the first time the train's making its way over here. Let's fast forward. Do they all get off? No. But it does load up a few more people. It's hilarious the building goes through there. The same thing happens over in Manchester, right? Yeah, you got a few buildings kind of merging through. I think that's like the glitch of having the elevated platform mod. It's, it's just how it is, boys. It's just how it is. So, anybody waiting in Dublin yet? No. It will take some time for anybody to even... Actually, I think one dude's already walking down right now. So, that's pretty good. I think there's another one on the way as well. So, we will have one passenger waiting. He'll be our first... Can we see his name? Logan Taylor. You'll be the first person to ride the boat. You'll be the first person on the um, the boat here. Across the... This is class of the Irish Sea, right? Yeah? <laughs> uh, I'm from the UK. I should know. I should know. So, now we've got that all hooked up then. We kind of have given ourselves that beautiful little expansion. I want to extend this up and add in a North Liverpool uh, station. Uh, and you could argue having a South one, but that will be just fine. Now, this North one is going to destroy more to the city than anything else has done before. Uh, but this route will eventually extend all the way up for the mountains into Carlisle and then eventually make its way up to either Edinburgh or Glasgow. I think it might make its way up to Edinburgh and then the route that comes this way will go through Edinburgh and then cross that end station there into Glasgow. So, uh, there's going to be some destructions, boys. I'm going to pause it one more time and then we have to end up deleting a lot of this. So the train line wants to go diagonal. So we're going to have to actually delete a lot of this area reconfigure it reposition it what am i destroying here that i don't want to destroy yes i want to destroy goodbye all right i've got to delete it all boys because one it's an awkward layout as as of right now and two i need the space it's a lot of stuff i've just deleted we're gonna put the station like literally at the tippy tippy top of the north section and it's only really there just to kind of give us a bit more radius for this section. And if I really wanted to, I can also access this oil refinery. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone almost. 
Um, right. Okay. And I've also got to be careful about how the roads run around as well. So, is it possible? Because I've got to think of the road situation. Actually, we'll come back to the road. We'll come back to the road. So, station. And we'll go with... Four. It doesn't really do what I want it to do on that, so we'll keep it to two. We'll do a 240 on the platform length. And I'm going to have it here. I might slightly turn it, but we'll have it here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let me just quickly configure it. Let's just delete the bits that I don't want. Get rid of all of this. Thank you very much. And then tracks. And then platforms. So it's all passenger based for now until we do need it to be any, well, have any cargo related items in it. So that will do for that. I know it's pretty close, but it accesses more than you can imagine as the city is going to expand this way. I don't think Manchester will reach over to it, but it just gives us a few alternative options. That's pretty much all it does. That's pretty much all it does. Right, so let's run this train line together now then. So tracks, and we'll run a direct route. Uh, straight band in. Now that's good. The fact that we can have a tunnel works out really well, but I'm wondering if I can push this tunnel slightly back. So if I bring this... Right, we have to terraform it slightly. Bring the brush size down. Because I want to I want to be able to kind of bend it in. I don't want to do... It, I, 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 I want to try and stay away from doing the the merging bend sections. From that being underground. So I think this might be the way to do it here. So if I run the train line now, cutting through all the way down to here. How does that look? Perfect. Oh, what did I do? I pressed the wrong... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. He only goes and pressed the wrong button, boys. He only went and pressed the wrong button. There we go. So, allow me to then merge... Because normally I would, I would... Normally I would come out ever so slightly. And then merge it in. So, we'll do the merger before there. And then we'll do the crisscross just here. There we go. And then same for this, then. We get a little bit of space. I know I've got to upgrade all these train tracks as well. There we go. It gives us all the space. And I'm loving the fact that we do have... It's something that I wasn't expecting, if I'm completely honest with you, having it all on the ground. But it would just... It would do the job. It would do the job. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right. Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. All right. Glorious. So now we can kind of... Build a little bit of a better road network. Now, as of right now, we have this big road that leads up to Manchester, which is busy, and it's busy leading all the road in, and it comes all the way up, and then once it gets through all the stop and start section, it then starts to really, really slow it down. It really does then to start to slow it down. So we'll upgrade these roads and take a few junctions off. So we'll upgrade to a four, and then we'll kind of figure out one of these routes leading in here to be in a four lane, which I think will configure this one. So leading down. And it gets to there, and then it, we've got like this, almost like a roundabout in a way, don't we? But I'll leave that to there, because a lot of roads lead onto that to kind of skadoodle out. And then I'm assuming we'll need a four lane road that also goes into Manchester. So it's going to cause some deletings. But I'm thinking of the capacity of the roads leading in. And then these, this road here will bend into that. So if I just quickly delete here. And then we bring this to about there. And then bend-ish that in. There we go. Now it might cause a lot of issues on that junction. But fingers crossed it doesn't. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Now, I'm going to delete you and you. And then we're going to try now do some proper connections. 
So you're going... Let me go straight there. You're going into here. A bit better. Right, that's the road leading in. And then we've got too many connections on this is the issue. So we're going to try and break them up slightly. I'm going to redo this area here. It does mean I've also deleted the connection there. But delete you. And I reckon I'm going to delete that and delete this to there. I'm trying to minimalize the amount of road connections that build on this. So there's a little bit more they can travel before said connection. So let's sort this out then. So I need to get the road connected along. So I'm going to bring this up to there and then turn that in, obviously. That can run down to here. And we'll have this run to there. Now, we do have this trying to connect up. I might have to rejig where the actual stops and starts are. I'll run that to there. I mean, I could still have this here. When I bring connections across like that, we'll bring you to too much slope. Hopefully that way it avoids all of this stopping and starting section. I'm going to bring that across to here. Which this goes to there. And then this bends. Not like that. <laughs> into here. Right, there we go. Um, and we'll see how we get on with that then. So that's, that's a nice little way to kind of reconfigure this area. I've deleted so much. Oh my goodness me, I've deleted so much. But that's all good. That is all good. So lots more, or a lot less, I'm hoping, stopping and starting. We'll delete this road here. And hopefully that there. Actually, we'll delete this as well. To get a straighter run in the road. So this is the stuff that you have to do. You can't just rely on cities naturally building themselves. Because they don't really build the way that you want the city to evolve. So that helps all that there. You could argue then, oh, this is a monstrosity. But at least this area where they're currently trying to get to this road is a, a bit better. It's a bit better. So I'm going to quickly edit this train station now as well. And then we're going to go back to the buildings, the passenger buildings. And we're going to drop some on. And then so we can access the other side of the road as well. We will... Is it best to smooth it or flatten it first? I think we'll flatten it first. Give us a little bit of space to work with. And then we're smoothing it out. So smoothing as much as we can. So at least we got the ability to access this side of the road. Now, we'll bring this coming down. Like that. And then we'll try and bend it in. Like this. And that's ultimately where that road pretty much runs to and from. We can have, obviously, connections coming up and over. But I want to try and avoid them connecting to this. Right. I think that will do us for now. I've done a lot of dents <laughs> into Liverpool. Which I'm assuming can only really affect the charts. So once they update, we'll see some big drops. But it will grow back anyway. It will grow back. So for this run coming into here, then Liverpool to Exeter, we're going to manage this line. So it gets to Liverpool. So it goes Birmingham to Liverpool, then back to Birmingham. But once it gets to Liverpool here, we'll add the station in there to then take it back here. So it goes to Liverpool North. Perfect. It uses the correct sides of the stations as well now yes i know that is really close but it just gives us that last stop within the north part of this which will then all regrow back around it uh, and just gives us another, another alternative connection so we don't not overloading one station all the time right it'll be interesting now to see how the city now evolves around these new roads so hopefully these start to flow a little bit easier Hopefully I do. They've completely ignored the fact that I didn't want that many, you know, additional connections on. 
Guys, stop building there, please. <laughs> stop building there, please. Which is not the end of the world, anyway. Now, we do have a lot of traffic trying to get out of here as well. So, at some point, I do need to bulk these roads up as well. I do need to bulk them up. But traffic is a flowing, boys. And I will have to redo the bus routes as well. Because now they don't really make sense. They're only really going around the radius of what was the maximum area Liverpool was. Liverpool has now since grown and spread quite ridiculously. So I'll have to redo that at some point. Uh, anyway, did you make any money? You made... That one dude spent 20 grand to crush the the, uh, the water. That's a rip-off. Is that the X ripping people off? Right, anywho, we Gucci. Okay, we've got that all up and running. So if I wanted to, I could bring the goods over. But at the same time, Liverpool would also require, and so would Manchester, the building materials, the bricks. Now, is there anywhere in the UK that we can currently get bricks from? Um, how far north have we got to go? Wow. So we're kind of heading towards the Shetland Islands right now where we've got this. But where are they getting the stone from? I'm taking uh, Ireland's got it. So there's one over in Ireland. So where's the stone areas then? Okay, there's one here, so that's an easy run to there. But in the Shetland Islands? I'm either blind or I just can't see it. Right, let me let me view the industries. And product stone Sheffield. <coughs> Actually, there's two Sheffield. So Sheffield's over here. Oh, there's two in Sheffield. So why did this one not come up? All right, let me filter it by actual product. I was on the wrong filter. Ah, right, there we go. So there's two in Sheffield. So you, you will have to take it all the way to the Shetland Islands. That's a, that's a route that you would make a lot of money on. That is a route that you would make a lot of money on. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, you won't really see much demand for this route yet until we get more connections in Ireland all set up. But at least we've got it for now because we've had to extend this to get it all into place so we're ready to start accepting cargo. So, if I was to accept cargo and make it run all the way up to Liverpool right now, I could build a train station here that connects to this train line. Now, which is the easiest route to take it up? Obviously, it's got to go on this route. So, minimal, with absolute minimal adjustments, I can build a station that connects to here. The train will come down to there. Then all I've got to do then is create a connection this way. It will then travel all the way up past Birmingham into this station here. But it all depends on where they want to accept the cargo. Now, they do want to accept the cargo within this vicinity. So... It makes sense to build a platform for cargo here. Now, I've got two options. I could either just add a cargo platform and let them share it with the same train. Like this train coming in. Or, I could be a little bit extra jazzy. Right? And build a platform there. Now, all they're doing is accepting cargo. They're not putting cargo on here. I can build a train track there. And then bend this in. Well, I've got to do it before the crisscross. And then just hope that it's long enough that it doesn't stick out at the end. I'm just wondering if I can do that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, do what I'm trying to do here. So I think the connection is coming off here somewhere. So it's coming off there, and you're hoping that the train is not that long. But there's also nothing stopping me 
Deleting these two buildings here. I mean, it did shorten my radius. Don't get me wrong. To squeeze in another platform. Oh. And put you there. Oh, well, to be honest with you, I could... If I did that there and then building... So I get my radius back, which means I can delete this to squeeze an additional platform because it gives us additional length. That's what I'm trying to get here. Now, this is just so I can have a separate cargo stop to the passenger stop. That's all it is. And if the train's that long, look where this stops now. So, we'll have a cargo train fit in there, and if a passenger train does come in with a cargo train here, it won't be held up. You know what I mean? Damn. So, all I've got to do then is add the connection on the bend here. Now, this is probably not the most efficient route. There's probably a way in which I can create a faster variation, a faster way to get to Liverpool with my current line. But this is the way to do it without minimal issues. All right, get rid of you. Let me just redo the signals. So a signal needs to go here. There. There. All right, hopefully it all works out well. I've got so much train line that I've got to eventually update. <laughs> right, let's get the station in next. So building-wise, it's cargo and it's an end route. And we'll do it as two platforms, because you never know what other cities we're going to connect it to. So I put on a slight diagonal anyway, because it'll give us a better transition. Over there. And obviously we're going to have to redo the signals. So signal-wise, we've got you, we've got you, and we've got you. That's the only signals I kind of need. And we're pretty good to go. So there's actually a um, a train depot just over here. I can I can buy. We'll get diesel again. We're, we're still sticking to diesel at the moment, uh, cargo wise, and it needs to carry the goods. So we need a box car. I think at 80 capacity for this time being will be adequate. Oh, I, I didn't even build the line, did I? I haven't even built the line yet. I only go 80 capacity because I don't expect this to be making much product. But then, it, but it all depends on how long it takes to get to and from. So let's run a new line. Cargo. All the way up to Liverpool, which is actually quite a long run. And it's good, so I'll make it orange to match the colour of the boxes almost. And this is our goods. No, Liverpool goods. So this would hopefully give Liverpool then its growth spurt. And they need it because I deleted a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, I do apologize. How's the traffic anyway? The traffic gets kind of hung up in this area here, doesn't it? It passes through. They all wait their turn. It passes through. It's no problem. But there's just so much demand for this route. I don't know actually if... Actually, I feel like the backlog is slowly going down. So maybe give it time. It will, it will die down. So, Liverpool goods is what I need. So, for the first time ever then, this station, this factory, should start producing the goods. So, at any minute now, we should see the goods being placed on the cargo platform. Give it a moment to rock and roll. Where's the goods, boys? Where's the goods? It's not sending it back, is it? No, I was going to say them for a second. Ah, oh, there we go. One good. <laughs> it will take a while. It will take a while. But anyway, it does mean that we'll have to keep shipping more in general. Uh, those have got enough. That's got enough at the moment. 
But I think it's down to the fact that it needs to level up for them to produce more. But we shall see. This has got quite nearly a hundred of each coming in. Right, this train is going to pick up for the first time. Is it one good? Oh no, it's four! It's four goods. So with four goods, we'll see how much money it actually makes. We'll see how much money it actually makes. And it's got a long way to travel. Now we will have to kind of um, go for a ton of... Hold on, is that on the wrong side? Oh, that, that was on the wrong side of the tracks. Because I forgot to do a crisscross. That should now update the line. Yeah. Whoopsie! So he had to he had to do Chris Rogers' line over there, which no wonder that was being held up. Anyway, <laughs> it's got a little bit of a distance to travel. So if I was to shorten the route, I could maybe bring it up through London here this way. But then again, it can't get over to there. But I can short it. It can come down to here. Oh, what it could do is then come off there into here to go down there to turn there. So it, it literally avoids this whole bend. But to be able to do that, we are then dealing with a huge elevation change. So I think I might hold out for now. Because I don't know what... If I get more demand for more trains to kind of avoid going around this corner to cut through that way, then I'll seriously think about it. But we'll just keep it as it is for now. So... Oh, hang on. I just clicked off it. I, I meant to stay on it. Is this it over here? Yeah. I really want to see how much money it makes just with four goods on board because of the distance it has to travel. So it's got a little while to go. It's got to go through Birmingham and it's going to get into here. And I want to see it actually at this platform as well. Damn, I can't believe how much kind of Chrissy Crossy we've got going on. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool. So it's making its way out to Birmingham, which I need to terraform all of this. And then up and over through Birmingham itself. I wonder if Birmingham is now the biggest city in the game. It's actually starting to become a little bit of traffic going through. Got to be careful with that. Right, going through Birmingham now. And now it's on the way to Liverpool, baby. How's the traffic over here then? Oh, it, the backlog is really dying down. It's The tail of it's only here now. That has made some serious progression. That's really helped us out. Right, here he goes, boys. For the first time ever, we've seen the train coming in. To the new cargo stop. And it's going to officially make the grand total of... Wait for it. Yeah, definitely room for more carriages. Quarter of a million with four goods on board. Now, obviously, we've spent two million in running costs. But imagine when that train's got, like, it's full. How much is over here waiting now at the station? 46. That's going to make serious cash. That's going to make some serious cash. The ship's on the way back as well. Oh, that's going to be so good. That's going to be so good. Now, what is the biggest city in the game right now? Uh, in terms of size, it is... It's Birmingham. Of course it's Birmingham. And I'm quite happy about that, if I'm completely honest with you. But Liverpool will go for a growth spurt now. Now we're starting to feed it with one of the many goods but at the same time we do need to eventually start thinking about feeding birmingham only because this is my hometown i'm a little bit biased towards it but we do have a lot of traffic feeding in which might become an eventual issue what you kind of need to do is well you need to upgrade the roads because these some of these roads are so short you gotta upgrade them Give them larger capacities, faster capacities. But just like Liverpool, don't be afraid to delete stuff. For the sake of being able to have larger capacity roads tearing through the city. So I'm just trying to upgrade alternative routes. Because they all base it on speed. They all base it mainly on speed. So if they can take alternative routes, it then saves them all going down the same road. Thus reducing the traffic flow. 
and the backlogs. Because this is going to start building up now unless I can fill some more vehicles in. But, yeah, we do need, like, some four-lane roads tearing through the center. We've got... We actually don't have any, we don't have any four-lane roads tearing through Birmingham. My problem is, though, if I start adding four-lane roads and it means I start deleting lots of buildings and I lose population growth. But it will grow back. That is what i got to remind myself. It will grow back. So this Liverpool train right now, Liverpool to, to Scarborough, right? It's full. It could do with a second train. Because the capacity that we've currently got right now is not is not adequate enough. So go to manage vehicles. We're going to duplicate the train. Get a second one on there. Now for this line, Birmingham to Leeds, which eventually will extend a lot more further up, but if it's overloaded now, damn. Add a second train to that one. Now in Birmingham itself, Birmingham to Brighton, which is this route here, it's already got three trains. And I feel like we need a fourth. There we go. Add in those capacities, boys. Now, Bo uh, Birmingham to Bournemouth, two trains on. I think we're managing, right? Are we managing? Yeah, we're managing. The southern route, though. The southern line. How are we doing on this? Alright. We're okay at the moment. We're okay at the moment. Do we need a second train on this route? Yes is the answer. Right. Additional trains means one thing and one thing only. Actually, it means two things. It means we spend a lot of money to buy the trains. But it means you make a lot of money in the long run. Now, what about that um, Liverpool to Exeter? This one I think we're okay with. Yeah, we'll be okay on that one. There's a lot more people on this station right now. Holy moly. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So, backlog is too much not to worry about here. It's okay over here. My concern was just around here, but it is now also dying down. So I think adding those alternative routes has really helped it out as well. So I think just a little bit of fine tune like that really does work. Now, what about the trams? What's the what's the route that I'm, I'm making the least amount of money on right now? It's got to be one of the passenger ones, like buses or trams. So forget the Liverpool goods one right now. That will take a while to make money. Liverpool Loop is really, really losing out. But it's not efficient. Okay, it's not currently efficient. Now, in terms of finances, it's ever since we implemented the larger capacity vehicles. But I've got to make it a lot more efficient. I'm going to wait for the city to grow a little bit more before we kind of start implementing more stuff like that. Now, is it bouncing back is the question. It's obviously it took a huge major hit. But hopefully with the implementation of goods coming in, which the, here is the good train right now with maxed out at 80. What's it making? Here we go. F literally 4.99 million. 5 million big ones. Which pays... <laughs> it pays big! Oh my goodness me. So we should then get some growth happening. Now they're starting to get their little bit of supply coming in. Right, absolutely glorious, boys. Absolutely glorious. We've still got to do a lot of stuff. We've still got to fine-tune a lot of areas. I've got to re-sort out the bus routes right now because ever since I implemented them, cities have got bigger. They really have got so much bigger. And um, are we now starting to make bigger cash is the question. So we've recently had our, another really, really expensive year. That's from all the expansion that I just did and all the new trains that I just bought. But we've literally just tipped a new record high in terms of income. The year previously record was 127. We've now got 128, baby. 
One million dollars more, which I fully expect this year to absolutely destroy the previous year. I absolutely fully expect it to absolutely obliterate it. Because we got all those new trains that we got in should be in, in full effect. They should be doing their routes as well. We should be making all the sweet cash money moolah. And um, yeah, it's it's glorious. But we've got to keep focusing in. As much as I want to keep expanding the passenger routes, we've also got to keep focusing on the cargo routes as well. It's really, really important that we do that. Because otherwise the cities won't go and these passenger routes will be a little bit pointless. But we got our first line hooked up to Ireland anyway. Uh, again, it won't really make much of a dent, much effort, much of a change just yet until we do get more passenger lines hooked up around here. But it'll be quite interesting to see how we can also bring cargo over as well. And these smaller towns, like in Wales, these would really, really benefit from bus routes. So... I might try and sort out a couple of bus routes around Liverpool and Manchester, leading into a bit of real and uh, I can't even pronounce that word. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even, my dad was born, my dad's Welsh. My dad was born in Wales, and yet I can't even say Welsh town names. But yeah, the smaller towns will bring in on bus routes and stuff like that. So, all looking good. We'll pretty much end it here then. And where are we currently at then? So, the money coming in right now has now surpassed 105 million on this current year. Oh, my goodness me. Can it break the record? I reckon we find out if we, this year breaks the record. I reckon we try and see if we can find out, boys. So, it's slowly increasing. But it all depends on when the next year kicks in. It's all dependent. I think this is not updating for me. I think I'm going to take my mouse off and put it back on. 121 million. Holy smokes. Come on, boys. Make that cash. 124. Ooh, 124. 100. Oh, it's gone higher! Well, I'm not going to click on it until the year has fully ended. Which, by the looks of it, it ends on the 8th month. So the end of this current month. Oh, that's high. There we go. So our new record year, 140 million. We've surpassed the previous one by 12 million. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got lots of goods on the platform here, so we can probably add an extra wagon or two to that. This is bringing more goods over as well. Nice. Guys, I hope you are enjoying this series. And I hope you are excited to see how we can continue to expand our UK and now technically Ireland. Well, when you combine it like that, technically it's the British Isles. Ireland, the country that's separate from the United Kingdom, is part of the British Isles. Now, don't get confused with the, thinking the British Isles is a country. It's just the ge geographical name of these two islands, the British Isles. Just let you guys know before anybody comes at me in the comment section right now. So, welcome to my British Isles transportation company. <laughs> but guys, until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good.